welcome back now uh, this is the second part of the series that i'm preparing for iot devices for ibm gbs industrial and electronic division my name is anjil in this particular video i'm going to show you how the recordings that we have on a physical machine on the ground have been captured onto a android device we are going to use the same set of sensors that we had earlier but this time instead of reading the readings on the dashboard of a machine we are going to see it on a android device of course the same thing can be replicated for even a ios device now <clears throat> here is my uh, android app there are three tabs that i have created one is the sensors then i have the actuators control then graphics so as i mentioned earlier that the sensors that we have on this rig is the temperature humidity sensor we have the hygrometer which gives the moisture level we also have the soil temperature so these four readings you can ignore this right now because i have uh, somehow lost my 47k resistor from this so this value is coming as wrong but anyway that, that's not a problem so this shows right now that the atmospheric temperature at this place where i am is 31 degrees the humidity of the air is 71 percent and the soil humidity is 100 percent now this is because i have attached this wire so if i remove this wire and you are in a live environment then you will see suddenly and and then of course we also get a notification that uh, the moisture level of the soil is not good and therefore the pump has to be switched on and it happened automatically you see in the background <coughs> the lights have gone in and that's been automatically uh, done by the iot device itself on the dashboard you can see that the okay now it has been switched off because uh, this only runs for the test rig has been defined to run only for a few seconds because I'm testing it All right, similarly <clears throat> The status of this relay whether it is on or off What the person is doing on the ground can be shown here on the Android device. So let me for example switch on my pump Okay, so All right, so uh, not only that, when an operator is running a machine on the ground, since he switched on this pump, you saw me getting a message uh, on my device that a particular machine has been switched on. In this particular case, my water pump. If I switch it off, from the uh, machine itself, <coughs> I can see that the status, the status here of the pump also shows us off. Similarly, if my infrared bulbs are on, I get a notification that the pumps have been switched on. And on the dashboard itself, I can see the status of the lamp also showing that the infrared lamp is on. So let me switch this off. Now I will show you the same thing. Whether you want to control this device from Android device or from the uh, machine itself, how easy it is. Second button here is, the second tab here is that of actuators and control. And I've got two buttons here. One is for the infrared lamps. Okay, let me put this wire back because otherwise it's going to keep try to running the pumps. So now I've just shortened it to demonstrate that the value of the <coughs> pump is okay. So now this is gone off. All right. <coughs> So now what I'm going to show is how I'm going to control the machines through the Android app. So I've got two buttons here. One is for the infrared lamp and one is for the pump. Now my hygrometer is shorted out. So there is no reason for the pump to run because it is already running at humidity level of 98%. So that means there is no need of any water. But if I want to run this manually, I can press the pump on button here. And you see there, the pump has been switched on on the physical machine. Similarly, I can switch the pump off as well. However, I've coded the system in such a way that uh, to avoid machine damage, 
the pump is not going to instantly switch off it's going to give it a few seconds so that it doesn't do any kind of inductive burnouts okay similarly i can do this for my infrared lamps if i switch on my infrared lamps i get notification that the lamps have been switched on and the relay shows that the lamp is running now in case of a, a in case of a infrared lamp you don't have a problem of inductive burnout so there is no delay and you can straight away switch off the status on the dashboard is exactly what i'm seeing here the third tab here is that of graphics now under the graphics i can see the status of my different sensors what the value of my uh, my data looks like i'll bring this closer and i can plot this onto a chart and then i can also export this data into a csv manually loaded into a sap system or otherwise or this data can be directly connected into a Watson device or a SAP device itself. Now what you do with the data is uh, there are various uh, things that you can do, not just analytics itself, that we will cover in the next series of the video. Thank you very much.